Uh, the Taliban are apparently taking care of those dogs that were left by the United States upon the evacuation from Afghanistan. So you remember this is the United States left well over 100 Americans, probably many more than that. Uh, the United States left Afghan allies. I've actually spoken to friends of mine who are uh, either in the armed forces or have been in the armed forces who have, have been getting calls from Americans who are stuck or from friends of Americans who were stuck in Afghanistan. So this is a real problem of Christians who are stuck, cha- chaplains and priests, of lots of people who are there. So th- this is a real problem. But then what everyone freaked out about was that they left the dogs. The service of poor dogs are in Afghanistan. So, okay, it's not a good look. The Taliban though, these PR geniuses, they are, they're PR geniuses, are taking to the Western press to let you know, don't worry, we're taking care of your dogs. The Americans left the dogs to get out from their specific uh, places, but uh, our teams and our officials called the in charge of the, those dogs. And uh, today uh, they came to report and they are trying to uh, collect the dogs and they are trying to um, facilitate for them and uh, what they need to give them. Is there uh, is they alive and how many are? Um, particularly, I, I cannot give you a specific number, but they are alive and uh, from the beginning. When we come to the front line, front door of the airport, we were in, in uh, we were in touch with the uh, in charge of the dog, and they are working and they are uh, feeding the dogs, and uh, I think there's no problem. And there's no problem. This is good news, right? This is I I hate that I have the, the the Taliban have been very good about this from the beginning. They've been very good at their propaganda, and the West has not been so. They held that press conference when they took over the presidential palace in Kabul. Joe Biden wouldn't hold a press conference. So you're seeing here, you're saying, oh my gosh, the Taliban is giving greater transparency to the press and the people than the White House is. Then the Taliban is asked about freedom of speech. They say, you know, you in the West like to talk about freedom of speech. What about Facebook? Facebook's censoring lots and lots of your people, including the duly elected president, for goodness sakes, on January 7th. Ooh, yeah, you can't really talk about that. And now the West, we can't even take care of our own service dogs. Don't worry, the Taliban's taking care of it. Thank you so much for watching that clip. I'm glad that you liked it. What I would love for you to do right now, please humor me. I, I really appreciate it. Take out your phone. I'll take out my phone. Go to your podcast app. Do, 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 do. Click that. It's Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, whatever. Type in The Michael Knowles Show. Now, it might not come up right away because sometimes big tech likes to suppress I'm not making any accusations, but they they don't always love the show. You find The Michael Knowles Show, you click subscribe. Wonderful. Thank you. You leave a five-star review if you want. Okay, thank you. That's really nice. And we'll see you next time.